my name is Roy Schulbert, and this is our chair of our Democratic Party, Rebecca Bonesteel. And I'm very pleased now to introduce from Minneapolis, the former mayor, here he is, R.T. Ryback. <laughs> how serious I take this, okay? I am a lifelong Minnesota Vikings fan, I say here in Minnesota. If you deliver for Hillary and Russ, I will wear a cheese hat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're in trouble now. I am in big trouble, but you are really lucky if you re elect this guy. Here's the fact, you guys. There's, I'm vice chair of the Democratic National Committee, so I could go anywhere in the country this week to campaign. I said, Send me to Wisconsin because the number one most important Senate race in the country is to re-elect or send back Russ Feingold. Yeah. Nothing, no other Senate race is more important than this one. Yeah. There are a lot of people I look up to in politics, but there is one political hero above all of them, and I'm looking at it. And I'm looking at it because the fact of the matter is, you know why we hate politics right now. You've seen all those nasty ads. You've seen all the slime and the mud and the stuff that our kids have to watch on television. We can fight bad advertising and rotten politics by getting our feet in gear, getting our phones in gear, and re-elect this man who will go to Washington and fight the crap we have to watch on television. Are you guys going to deliver? Yeah. 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 The central point that we have to make is that middle income and working families are just saying, wait a minute, why is it that they can't pay the bills? Even though people at the top are doing extremely well and unemployment's lower, why is there this, this problem that shouldn't exist in our country when things have started to get better? And so if you could just make it clear to people, there's a really easy difference here between me and Senator Johnson. The choice is clear. And uh, it basically comes down to this. Whether it's the minimum wage or paid family leave, or whether it's prescription medicines or social security or student loans or bad trade agreements. With Senator Johnson, those families, not only do they not have a, a fighting chance, they have no chance, zero chance, of getting a vote from the guy. He will not vote against insurance companies, cable companies, the internet companies, the oil and gas companies, he just won't do it. And so you guys get two senators, we get two senators. <laughs> it matters whether somebody, whether you have a shot, whether you get your day in court, you don't. With me, not only do you get a, a fair hearing and listening, but what happens is, is that you know my record is to stand with middle income and working families. And it will be again if you make me your United States. <laughs> What you talked about. We gotta do something about these elections. It's making everybody sick. They have to go through this kind of thing. And you know, I feel I've had a great time because I go out and talk to people. It's fun. But the, the pollution that people are subjected to on television is unacceptable. And I want to promise you that uh, my work on this isn't over. If I win, if I'm sworn in, I'm gonna walk right across the room. When you win. If, yeah. okay, you get to say that. <laughs> I, I can't be the cocky guy. <laughs> Walk across the room and find maybe John McCain if he wins or whoever is there. I'm going to work on a bipartisan basis to make sure we get rid of this garbage in our political system. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Last thing I want to say is uh, we just love coming. You guys, there's something special about what you do. You have the biggest challenge of any people in the state because of the fact that the, this television stuff, in some ways you don't have to see some of the bad stuff. But you, you, you have to do it on the ground. And I have never been anywhere where the events are more interesting, lively, well attended. It is just the greatest thing. And I wish people all over the state, Democrats all over the state, know how you do this. Because they're working hard. Do you have some kind of special sauce you put in that, that makes it incredibly pleasurable to come up here? I would be so honored to be your senator again. Thanks so much. All right. All right.